can't we all just get along? That's the question that writer and director David Talbert asks in his new comedy, Almost Christmas. Hi, Walter. Is the family coming for Christmas? Every single one of them. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. So where's your husband? Ex-husband. Oh. Hey, Rachel. You know he's single. Okay, mama. So sorry about your loss. The African-American woman is the backbone of the black family. Who is this white man? What's up those pink pants, Malibu Barbie? <laughs> They gonna kill each other out there. Not your typical holiday movie. Almost Christmas puts a new spin on an old favorite theme. I wanted to do something, a, a flawed family. You know, sometimes you see everybody and they're all perfect and they're neat, but that's not real life. And so with Aunt May and with um, Kimberly Elise and Gabrielle Union's issues and everybody's, I just wanted to show a slice of, a real slice of the African-American family. Unlike movies that depict single mothers as the head of the house, Almost Christmas stars Danny Glover as the affable patriarch, Walter. I wasn't expecting you for another day or two. Your room's upstairs. But the liquor's in the dining room. A father himself, David E. Talbert set out to make a classic Christmas movie from experience. From an only child perspective, I cannot relate to having a family like that, that size, at a Christmas dinner. What made you come up with that idea? Well, you know, I grew up in a church family, so we didn't have this kind of insanity, because it was only James Cleveland and Albertina Walker played, but um, my wife's family is the polar opposite. <laughs> You know, we you know we drinking eggnog and apple juice and stuff at ours. They drinking vodka and Hennessy at, 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 at their holiday. So I kind of merged the families together and came up with this. Do you want some stuff in bed? Boy, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm gonna stab your ass with this fork. Do you hear me? I would love that. Well, at least we know it can't get any worse. Lonnie? Oh my God. Oh my God. You two know each other? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh my God! What the hell is going on? The cast of Almost Christmas includes fellow DMV native Jesse Usher, as well as Oscar winner Monique. The director's filmography also includes critically acclaimed movies such as Baggage Claim and First Sunday. Understanding the importance of giving back, the filmographer considers it a responsibility to mentor aspiring filmmakers. Oh, you got to sit down until we get this class. Done. And the award-winning writer and director motivates actors at his workshops held across the country. David E. Talbot is a respected name. You see his name on stage plays, you see his name on movies. I mean, he's also helped cultivate a lot of stars. So based on the strength of that alone, the guy knows what he's talking about. Affectionately known as the People's Playwright, Talbert's movies are an inspiration to his fans. Are you looking forward to the next movie I'm that looking, comes? I'm looking forward to the sequel as well. So it's, yeah. I mean, it was an incredible movie. I'm a father and a grandfather. So how uh, black grandfathers and fathers were portrayed in the movie, I've never seen anything like that in cinema. Will you be choosing a DC for future films? Well, I happen to know the, uh, the head of the entertainment here for Washington, DC, Angie Gates, who's been talking to me for a while, and we've been talking about doing something here in DC, and I think it would be a perfect place. Wonderful backdrop, and um, as, as one of his first sons of the entertainment business, I'd, I'd be honored to come back here and do something. This is the first to note, and the reason why we're doing this to HBCU is the first time that a, a major motion picture has been released at a, a studio in Hollywood where the writer and director and producer are both graduates of HBCU. If I close my eyes, I can see Mom in here like it was yesterday. She is here. She's in every pot, in every pan. We are standing on holy ground. My mother died right before Thanksgiving. So for me, it really hit home because the first uh, holiday after the death of a mother or father is really challenging. And so how he was able to portray that in such poignant ways, I thought was incredible. You could really relate to the movie oh, then. Really well. I mean, don't tell anybody, but I was in tears <laughs> during much of the movie. I sit back in the theater and see how people are responding, and uh, DC's a tough crowd, so if, if they're having a good time with it, then uh, everyone will have a good time with it. You sound beautiful, Aunt May. 